Hi guys and welcome back to Mia's channel. Today's video is this yummy and delicious Moroccan harsha from scratch. It does look like English muffins, but it is a Moroccan pan fried bread made from semolina. So if you are interested, let's get started by adding 250 grams of coarse semolina to our mixing bowl with half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of granulated sugar one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of oil and of course all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. And last but not least, one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix it all together until all our ingredients are well combined and also all our semolina grains have all been moistened. And if you are new to my channel, I post a lot of cooking and baking videos so I would love you to subscribe for more content and if you're already part of Mia's family then thanks for your support and I hope you will enjoy today's recipe. Then add 300 milliliters of milk slowly and mix until the dough forms. It should be quite moist, almost wet. Then put it at a side and let it rest for about 5 minutes, allowing the semolina to absorb the milk. At this stage, and as you can see, our mixture looks a bit dry. Take your frying pan and brush it with some oil. And now it's time to make some shapes. I used a cookie cutter but you can still make a patty shape using just your hands. You can add some of your favorite savory ingredients to the mixture such as onions, herbs, olives or even cheese. And just to let you know, Harsha stores well in the freezer for up to 3 months and you can reheat them in a pan or in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for a few minutes. Once your shapes are done, on a medium heat, place your pan and let them cook for about 5 to 8 minutes on each side. Try to flip them only once and cook them until golden color and check to make sure your harsha aren't coloring too quickly as they need some time to cook all the way through. And here are your Moroccan harsha ready to enjoy. Serve them immediately with jam, cheese or butter or even with a Moroccan sweet dip made of melted butter and honey. To make the syrup, heat equal portions of butter and honey until hot and bubbly. As you can see, it's a rough and crispy outside layer and a soft and fluffy in the inside. You might have never heard of it and also think whatever, but trust me when I say this is one of my favorite quick recipes for breakfast. So anyway, I hope you liked today's recipe and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more and thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye.